Hi, guys. I'm thrilled to be on with you today doing another Relax and Paint. So take a deep breath this morning and relax and think about somebody you would like to give this to. This is the giving season. This is um, a couple days before December, and I have been really involved in creating. I just wrapped a gift today I painted for um, a gift exchange, and so I thought I'm going to share with you Another fun project that you can do very quickly. Take a deep breath. Believe you can do it. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a great gift. Okay. So don't go away. I'm going to be right back. Let's get started. All right. We're recording. I am going to my overhead camera. And what's going to happen is that we're going to... Um, is an 11 by 14 canvas. So I'm trying to get up high enough because I want you to see a lot of what I'm creating. So I've got some floating medium. That's the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment in it. There's no color in it. Some worker white, some medium gray. These are all acrylic colors, a little Pueblo and burnt umber and some treasure gold gold. Okay, this is water soluble. All right, so we're going to have fun, real natural colors. You guys tended to like those that I have um, shared with you before. All right, this is what it looks like, and it's a folk art multi-surface paint. All right, so I'm going to kind of get a little bit of a watercolor look in the background, and so I'm going to take a large brush, okay? This is just a, an inch and a half large brushes. We sell two of these in a package for a little bit more than $10. So it's a really good deal. So I've got medium and I'm going to pick up a little bit of medium gray and white. And I am going to keep picking up medium and moving this. So I have a little bit of a striated background here. See that? You could actually use a, a narrower canvas. I love 10 by 20s and these have been great gifts for I do two of them next to each other and give them as a gift to my children's friends from high school as they were getting married and they I gave one canvas and they said tell me um where you got this um or what colors you were using they said because we want to paint another one to match it and so I was excited that they felt like they could paint it too. So a big brush, lots of medium, because a medium, see if I hit that medium again on there, it makes it move. Okay. Now there's two ways to do this. I'm coming on here and I'm putting this color now, but you could stroke some of the leaves and stuff I want to do first and then come back later and put a wash over it and we might still do that okay so this is what i want to do medium again and i'm going to put so much medium that it's really transparent okay and then i'm going to come right down here and put a stem okay so this is what i want to do i'm going to start right here on the corner on the stem and push down all right, so I want it to look like it's weathered. Okay, so I'm gonna come right here and put another one right here. Okay, now the good thing about the medium and the way I'm stroking is see it doesn't cover in the whole stroke. So it's like, it's like I'm getting that weathered look. Or you can go over it a couple of times if you want to. So we'll come from here. Come from here. I want you to see me picking the medium up and working this on my brush. Now remember underneath this is lots of medium underneath. I, I just got through, I didn't let it dry, lots of medium. So that's what's making it kind of look more striated too. 
Now I keep getting that gray with lots of medium, but there's lots of medium on here already, remember? Okay. okay so look, I'm gonna come down two places. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? is I'm pulling down on the chisel right here. Push, pull. All right, so this is just background. Look, let's have one of these stems from here come over. All right, so this looks like it came from this side. All right. All right, so I'm going to keep coming down. Okay, so this is just the background. So we have background going in. I swear every time I start painting. My lawn guys come. Maybe they're not here. Up and you bring it down. Let's do that again. Up and down. Up and down. Okay, so this is just all gray with white. And all this on top is just medium and gray. All right, now, so what happened is I'm taking a teeny bit of the brown with Pueblo. Let's put a little bit of gray in that. And let's work this out. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to pull little bits of this brown. Can you see that? This is all with a three quarter inch flat brush. I don't know if I told you that. All right, so look. And the deal is try to make it look really transparent. All right. So just the different layers of color. Okay, I'm still gonna use my Three quarter and this treasure gold, I'm gonna turn it this way and use it just like this. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna just dip in there and I'm going to work this in just a little bit. All right, so then what happens is, all right, I'm gonna decide where I want the top of this. I want to come down and come across and in here i'm going to get just little bits i'm going to put some burnt umber let me see if i can do it with the gold a little bit of burnt umber okay so then I'm gonna come right here with the treasure gold gold. And then if I come right like this, I can push down with the metallic. All right, so right in here, I'm gonna have some little pieces of gold right in here. So if I pick up the gold and I keep doing this, I keep side loading just a teeny bit of burn over. All right, I can pull stems into these also. 
Okay. So what makes this look really beautiful is how much the gold is going to stand out. We have all kinds of rose gold and other color golds. Let's see. It's going to really make a difference. All right. Okay, so lots of gold. And we can we can come into some of these gold strokes. Put some burnt umber underneath them. Let me come up here. I keep getting the burnt umber. Just that little bit of brown burn number makes it really look good. Okay, so I'm gonna get a smaller brush and let's, let's just get your round brush, all right? So what's gonna happen is right in here, I'm gonna put them right here so y'all can see them really close. So what's gonna happen here is I've got the round eight, in my signature brushes. All right. If you just use the tip, you can get a really fine little line. All right. And then we're going to come up here. All right, so now all we have to do, I'm gonna pour some more gold in here. Oops, 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 there we go. So I'm just gonna pick this up and put little balls. So they're kind of like berries or seed pods. And I like having texture on this. Okay, well, so I'm going to pick up a teeny bit of white. A little bit of white on there. So wasn't this fun? Think about who would like a little bit more modern painting. This is kind of like a silhouette fun class to uh, class so that you can paint these fun little projects. And listen, these are natural and gold colors. You could do these all purples. You could do them all yellows. All pretty green tones and blue tones. So it can match anybody's house. Okay. All right, so I really like those to stand out. And then I came back with white. And if you can come in through some of these. All right, there we go. And I want you to sign it with pride. 
And there you are. Thank you guys. Have fun. And this one right here is supposed to have a few little gold strokes coming down it. Anything to put a little bit in the background, a little bit more. All right. See you Friday. Mm -hmm.